Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the length of this hypotenuse using sin or cos. So over here is a reminder of the formulas for sin and the formula for cos. Step one, we're going to label the sides. So this side is the longest side, that's the hypotenuse, I'm going to call it H. Here's the angle I'm interested in, 50 degrees, and I can see that this side is next to the angle. So this side is the adjacent. I'm going to call it A. Look at our formulas now. Which one of these uses the adjacent and the hypotenuse? It's going to be cos. You can see here, adjacent, hypotenuse. So now let's write the formula out and we're going to replace the numbers that we know. So first, cos angle. We know the angle is 50 degrees. We know the adjacent is the number 8. And we know the hypotenuse. Well, we don't. But we're going to call it letter X. That's what we want to find. So now we want to find X, but it's on the bottom line. So we're going to do the same as we did before. I'm going to change this cos 50 into a fraction. So the fraction will be over 1. Next, I'm going to invert both sides. So put this fraction upside down. And put this fraction upside down as well. Now on my calculator... I'm going to work out what is 1 over cos 50. So previously I used the fraction button, but maybe you don't have a fraction button on your calculator. So if you don't have a fraction button, you're going to use divide. So 1 divided by cos brackets 50. Like this. So you'll get the same uh, you get the same thing if you do the fraction button. So I'm just going to do the fraction button here so you can see it's going to be the same. All right. So let's write that down. And we can see this decimal number equals x divided by 8. So to work out what x is, I need to take this number here and multiply by 8. So let's do that on our calculators. I'm going to use the answer key. So answer whoops, times 8. And that is my final value. x equals 12.4 centimetres. That means my hypotenuse was 12.4.